Hello students and welcome to another video presented by The Learning Depot. I'm Lulu Shaw and in today's lesson we will learn about the tricky verbs lay and lie. The verbs lay and lie are confusing even for native speakers and with good reason. This is because the past tense of lie is lay, making it very confusing if you don't know the rules of usage for these two verbs. In today's lesson, you will learn how to distinguish these two verbs and how to use them correctly. Before we move on to each individual verb, let's look at both verbs side by side and their conjugations. Let's look at the simple present, the past, and the verb forms called the present and past participles. You can see that the past tense of lay is laid. The present participle is laying and the past participle is laid. The past tense of lie is lay, the present participle is lying, and the past participle is laying. You can see that the past tense of the verb lie is lay, and this is identical to the main form of the verb lay. And here is the big problem. This is why these two verbs get confused. But there are major differences in the meaning of these verbs. Let's start with lay. Lay means to put or to place, meaning to put something down on something. Something to note about the verb lay is that it is a transitive verb. In a previous video, we learned about transitive and intransitive verbs. A transitive verb needs a direct object because it must transfer its action onto a direct object. So when you think of the verb lay, ask yourself, lay what? Put what? Let's go on to the verb lie. The verb lie means to recline or to be positioned. Let's go ahead and do some practice sentences on your own. How did you do? Remember that lay means to put or to place and it takes a direct object. 
Lie means to recline or to be positioned, and it never takes an object. Here's a sentence to help you remember. My puppy lays her bone on her bed and then lies down to sleep. Let's change the verb tenses to the past. My puppy laid her bone on her bed and then lay down to sleep. That's in the past. Let's use the past participle. My puppy had laid her bone on her bed and then had lain down to sleep. In this example, you see the past participle of both verbs. In today's lesson, you learned that the verb lay means to put or to place and that it is a transitive verb always requiring a direct object, while the verb lie means to recline. It is intransitive and does not require a direct object. Make sure to go back and review the parts of the video you did not understand. And if you have a question, leave it in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer it. And please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. And one more thing, please like and share so that others may learn about my channel. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you real soon. Bye bye.